Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to be doing the Guilty Reader book tag. So I haven't done a book tag in a very, very long time, and I was recently tagged to do this one by Ashley over on A Dash of Ash, so I believe her channel linked down below if you'd like to go and check her out. But the original tag was created by Chammy from Read Like Wildfire, and I will leave her original video linked down below as well. So this tag is essentially just about all of the guilty things we do as readers, like whether or not you've ever lied about reading a book or ever said that you liked a book that you didn't actually like, and stuff like that, and the questions just just sounded like a lot of fun to me, and since I was tagged, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to do it. But without any further ado, let's just get into the questions. The first question is, have you ever regifted a book that you've been given? Technically, I guess I could say yes to this question because like I've been given books in subscription boxes or I've been like sent books from publishers and stuff that I already had sometimes, and sometimes if I know that one of my friends will enjoy that book or I think that they will, I will like give them that book. But I don't know if that technically counts as regifting, but I can honestly say I've never been given a book as like a Christmas present or something or a birthday present and then given it to someone else. I've never done that, but I think technically getting copies of books that I already have and like giving them away is kind of like regifting. I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Question two is, have you ever said you've read a book when you haven't? And yes, literally 100%. I've lost count of how many times I've done this, especially like in high school. I can truthfully say I've never done it with booktube and I'm honestly like proud and impressed with myself, but throughout school, like there were so many books that I read like part of them, but I never read the whole thing. And then I'd say that I'd read the whole thing, like The Jungle by Upton Sinclair, never finished that book. Great Expectations, I didn't read it like while I was in school and then like after we finished studying it, I read it. Don't know if that counts. There are more, but like I honestly can't remember all of the books. But yeah, definitely. I've done that countless times. <laughs> Question three is, have you ever borrowed a book and not returned it? No. I have never done this. Literally never done this. <laughs> Granted, I will borrow a book and sometimes I keep that book for like three years because I don't see the other person, but I do eventually give it back to them. Like currently I have no books that I'm borrowing from anybody right now at all because I've given all of them back. So yeah, I am pretty good about giving the books back. It's not like I hold on to them. It's just because I don't see the people or they're like not in town or not near each other. But yeah, no, I always give the books back. I cannot stand it when someone borrows a book from me and like doesn't give it back. I just, it's too much. <laughs> Question four is, have you ever read a series out of order? No. I honestly don't understand how this is possible. Sometimes people are like, oh yeah, I read the Mortal Instruments series, but I read it completely out of order. And I'm like, what do you mean you read it out of order? Do you mean that like you read the Infernal Devices first and then you read the Dark Artifices and then you read the Mortal Instruments? Because technically that's out of order, but like that's not that bad because each one is technically a separate series. But like some people are like, oh no, I read Catching Fire first and then I read The Hunger Games and then I read Mockingjay. And I'm like, how, how does one do that? How is that even possible? <laughs> have you ever spoiled a book for someone? The thing is, I don't ever think I've accidentally spoiled a book for someone. I'm very good about not spoiling things because I hate spoilers. I don't wanna know what's gonna happen in a book before I'm gonna read it. So like, I just stay all the way away from spoilers. So I would never wanna do that to someone. So yeah, like if I'm complaining about a book or just like ranting about a book or something to one of my friends or my family or something, I'll spoil stuff, but it's because I know that they're not gonna read the book anyway. So it really makes no difference. <laughs> have I ever dog-eared a book? Yes and I don't really feel guilty about it. <laughs> Sometimes I have multiple copies of books, as you guys can tell from my Night Circus collection. <laughs> and when I have multiple copies, I like to use at least one of the copies to have like an annotated version of the book. If I want to go back and reread the book, I'll usually reread that one. And then I can like mark it up and do whatever I want to the book. So in those cases, like I definitely like dog ear the pages. I add in sticky notes. I write in pen or pencil, highlight, like whatever I want. And that doesn't bother me, but like, no, I will not dog ear one of my books that I'm supposed to keep in like a pristine condition because I like all of my books to look really perfect. So I won't do that with those books. But if it is a book that I am intentionally like annotating, I dog ear the pages. So I keep them very separate, <laughs> but that's just the way that I work. The next question is, have you ever told someone that you don't own a book when you do? Now I'm assuming that this question is like targeted towards something like Twilight or Fifty Shades of Grey, where like you don't want a large number of people to know that you like actually own those books if you feel any sort of shame around them. But no, I've never said that. The most embarrassing book I own is probably Twilight but like I feel no shame still having it on my shelf. It takes up space so I will probably get rid of it soon but no I've like never even felt the desire to tell someone that I don't own a book when they asked me about it. The next question kind of goes hand in hand it's have you ever told someone that you haven't read a book when you actually have? Again no I haven't done that. I feel no shame around the books that I own or around the books that I've read to talk about them with anyone so I don't feel the need to like lie and say that I haven't read a book when I actually have or anything like that. I'm definitely more leaning towards 
towards the other side of saying that I have read a book even if I have it because no one likes required reading and you gotta do it somehow. <laughs> the next question is have you ever skipped a chapter or a section of a book? I don't do this as much now because I am like definitely more into the books that I read now and like all aspects of the books but like if a book is really boring and I just like need to get to the main points I will definitely start to skim. I don't think I've ever fully skipped an entire chapter or skipped like an entire section of a book. There are like long paragraphs and if I like skim read it really quick like I know that it's just talking about the setting and I don't care that much so I'll just like skip ahead to where the characters have dialogue. Stuff like that I'll definitely do. I know when I first read the Mortal Instruments series I only cared about the romance between Clary and Jace. I know but that was my 11 year old mind's priority so I would basically just like skim a lot of the other parts on my like rereads of the book and just go to the Jason Clary parts because that's all I cared about but I did read the entire thing obviously and I love the other parts more now but yeah I've definitely done that quite a few times in my reading life. And finally the last question is have you ever badmouthed a book that you actually like? And honestly I don't really think that I have. I am pretty critical of the Mortal Instruments series. I definitely think that it has its flaws. I think Clary and Jace are terribly annoying. I can't stand a lot of like the romances or a lot of the characters half the time honestly but I do like genuinely enjoy reading those books. They bring me a lot of happiness and like a lot of nostalgic memories. So that's like the closest thing that I can think of but even then I don't like really badmouth it because I still love those books. So yeah, I don't really tend to do that very much. I keep my bad mouthing for books that I really, really don't like. <laughs> but that is it for all of the questions in the guilty reader tag. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video, but I really, really loved all of the questions. They were a lot of fun to answer. And I don't think I'm that much of a guilty reader. Like I don't feel like I have that much guilt around the things that I do or my like reading habits because I stay pretty true to what I think, which I think is a good thing. <laughs> but a huge, huge thank you to Chammy for creating this wonderful tag. And to Ashley for tagging me in it. I don't know who's done this, but I'm still gonna tag a couple of people. I'm gonna tag Zoe from Read by Zoe, Joss from Squibbles Reads, Maureen from Maureen Kiwi, Natasha from Toshopolis, Jesse from Jesse the Reader, and Emma from Miss Mare Reads a lot. And to any of you who are watching this video, if you make videos and you really wanna do this tag as well, totally go for it. You can say that I tagged you, or if you have like a blog or an Instagram or something and you wanna do the tag there, also you can say that I tagged you if you want to. Or if you don't have a blog or a channel or anything, you can let me know any of your answers in the comments down below. I'd love to discuss them with you. I just think more people should do it because it's a fun tag and I like hearing people's answers. But that is it for this video. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!